cozy on the couch today. We're gonna do something fun and playful. We're gonna play a card game. So, do you want to talk about the card game? Maybe give a little yeah. intro. Yeah, let's give a little intro. Yeah, like I feel like <laughs> honestly though, like Serena Kerrigan, like like please sponsor us. Like I bought your card game. Everything dating, everything sex, everything you know, just like confidence and love. <laughs> so me and Eden are gonna play this card game. You can play it with your partner. You can play it with your girlfriends. You can play with your guy friends. You can play with your best friend. Let's, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let's join us. Play this game with yourself. Answer the questions as we go along and write them in the comments below. Let's begin. I want to be a casino dealer in my next life. You would look great doing that. Yeah. One, two, yeah. Three, cool. Like, do you know what I mean? Red, black, red. Right? I might do that, actually. You know what? I might get us. That's what I was just going to say. And I'm going to be uh, Just the watcher by that. Yeah. Or, 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 or DJ. DJ. There you go. I've been, I've been supporting that. Or background that. dancer. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming, but... I still support that. Okay. We're gonna lay these on the floor. On the floor. And by the floor, I mean the coffee table. And we're just gonna randomly And pick. we're just gonna randomly pick, and if we don't like one, you won't know. <laughs> You're blocked with, with Ian Middleman, Middleman and Simona Catalano. Okay. I wish I go first. This one's calling my name. Please do the honors. Wait, do we raise each other? Do we both answer? How does this work? Uh, you ask me and then you put it down. What would your ex say about you? That I'm literally the best thing that's ever happened to <laughs> Next! What is the weirdest thing you've heard during sex? Someone saying yes in another language. I've heard it in French. Oui. I've okay, heard it that in is, Russian. that's so weird. Weird. How do you say yes in Russian? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, ew. Oh, that is weird. Or when they start talking in their own language, unless I'm prompting you, because sometimes that can be sexy when I'm like, say it in your language. So if you say it and then you don't like it. I'm like, it. baby, baby, English from now on. Let me just continue going. Yeah, okay, good. look at you. Like, way to pivot. So I focus on that thing and I'm like, just get this over with. I haven't heard anything else, like nothing really crazy or traumatic, which is surprising. Yeah, but it is surprising. I mean, I fill in the blank. I feel most confident when I blank. I'm naked. Really? Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Good for you. Like you would walk around naked all day if you, that was Yeah, I, I have been, I love it. No, I mean like walking on the streets naked. Okay, not on the streets, obviously not. A, it's freezing outside, but I do feel like most that confident. is when I'm the most confident. Wow, good for you. Bravo. Yeah, I think just like showing your body love, like regardless of how, like however you're feeling, like as women, like we go through so much shit with our bodies and like, they fluctuate so often. We get our periods and we don't feel that good with our bodies bloated, that often, yeah. you know what I mean? But like, I think I try to just focus on like the good that my body does for me on a daily basis, regardless of what it looks like. Do you know what I mean? That's really and, You healthy. know, when you work on your body, like I like to work out, I like to feel good and feel strong. And like, I think that that attributes to like, the days where I'm maybe not feeling the best with my body, but like I, for, I like make myself Talk to myself in the mirror, show myself love. Okay, let's like marinate. Like, let's like really like, like why are yours all sex? It's just like really playing into like- My narrative? Tell me about the worst sex you've ever had. What's a red flag you wish you hadn't ignored? Ooh, guys that trigger my attachment style. Give me an example. So like when a guy is too hot, too soon. Like that is a red flag that I realize now. It has absolutely nothing to do with me. Like even though I believe that like I'm a great person, I'm a great catch, all these great things, yada yada, that's amazing. I think when I look back at certain situations, I, I now realize like, even though I know these things about me and I, I feel like, oh my God, and another guy should also feel this way about me. When a guy is too hot too soon, there's an ego thing there like he's he's working on a different agenda that's opposite than yours mm -hmm. and if he goes mia like after like you've sent him nudes like red flag don't ignore that right and don't allow that person to come back so like things like that i think that like and that also these things the hot and colds you know triggers my attachment style like an anxious avoidant yeah right and so like it puts me in that anxious state of like oh my god and then you're, you kind of crave that hotness again when, once they're cold. Of do you course. know what I mean? Yeah. And so like, and that is something that recently I've like noticed and that I'm like, yeah, I wish I hadn't ignored that. But at least now I know that, right? Like at the time I didn't know my attachment style. I didn't like know what this pattern was. I didn't know why I was always like with these guys that were like fucking hot and cold and like just like 
great one minute and then MIA the next and like I was like left there like what so yeah. I really wish that I hadn't ignored that but now that I know we don't and if you're in that let's cut it loose name a book that mind fucked you this is good I always talk about like my favorite book which is the clarity cleanse by Dr. Habib Sadegi but th that wasn't a mind fuck that was just more like a really good book for like learning and for your right. mindset I think the most recent one is about I forget what it's called but it's Basically, I'll insert the name here, but it's um, about attachment styles, I think. Yeah. And, like, I I was aware of my attachment style-ish, right? But never, ga like, never gave it light, never thought it was that serious. It was just, like, whatever, with the right partner, I'll figure my shit out, blah, blah, blah. And then I realized how attachment styles is not, it's not all about relationships. It's yeah. really about life and any other friendship or thing that you yes. have going on. Or even in circumstances, that's triggered. And that reframed my mind or, like in the process of reframing my mind yeah. now always in the back of my mind when I'm behaving a certain way and it really has like highlighted and spotlighted yeah. like everything that I do in relationships like holy fuck I can't believe it because it's spot the fuck on and it started so early on in my life like yeah. in childhood like childhood so it's like if you had these types of parents they triggered this and like it's just like even when I was reading about attachment styles I was like holy yeah. fuck and I'm like yeah this is crazy because that's so true and that is exactly why I, I do this yeah. and this is because of that and I'm like oh my god things that I thought were like oh my god I'm just being insecure whatever it was just like no it's valid because you have this attachment style and this works in these situations and this is beneficial for this but not for this and like it just put things in perspective and I was like wow like it was great but it was also like an oh my god and it was just a big learning curve for me yeah. so what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done on a date I popped his day. I knew this one. So you're on the date. I was on the date and then, oh my God. It was the most awkward date. Like it was hot. I was sweating like profusely. Cause he's like, do you want to move inside? Like no kidding. I have fucking sweat dripping down my forehead. He's just chilling. Like, okay. So like we move inside naturally so I can stop perspiring profusely. And then I'm like, you know what? I just need to go like dab off. Obviously I didn't tell him this. I'm like, I'm going to use the restroom. And I like literally have a welt on my nose and I'm like, oh, for the love of God, like I'm a freak. Like when it comes to my skin, um, if it's white, I'll pop it. Fuck. If it's not white, I'll try to pop it anyways. I'm a psychopath with my skin. So I'm like, obviously I have to pop this. Doesn't it start bleeding? I'm like, oh, for the love of God. Right. So then you're in there and you're like, you know, yeah, and dabbing. then you're dabbing oh my God. and you're like trying to like make sure it doesn't like form a blood bubble. And this whole time you're like, he thinks I'm shitting. Like he thinks I'm shitting, right? Do you know what I mean? I know, I feel for you. So yeah, it sucks. He didn't bring anything up, but I was just, I just kept touching my nose. He's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing. And just like, my nose is like hurting me. I just kept doing this. So like, I feel like that's like the weirdest thing, but like I'm weird in general. So I think that there's probably more things that I've done that are weird, but to me that are normal. So I don't know. You know what? Do I'm, I'm going to make everyone feel better. Okay. Yeah. I peed on myself on a date. What? I went to a washroom. I do that all the time. I, <laughs> no. Your pee like comes out on your leg and you're, yeah. Okay. But you were versatile to like get away with it. So like I was wearing obviously a fucking crop top and high waisted jeans. Didn't pull down my jeans all the way. I'm squatting. I'm not actually, I'm sorry. I'm taking your question. I just want to. Oh my God. Yeah. No. Just we're, we're evening out the playing field here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like everybody's done that. I yeah. always pee myself. Okay, so then like my pee splashes off the bowl and I really had to be just holding it in. Like one of those like liquor pees when you're yeah. like, you just and you're pee. like, I need to pee all this out so right then now. It's like flying on the back of my jeans and I didn't know I didn't feel it, didn't whatever. I pull on my jeans and I'm like, what? when I tell you soaked, smell like piss, my whole ass look like I had explosive diarrhea. You know, up and like, I always thought that it was me that didn't know how to pee until Eden was like, I peed on myself. And I'm like, okay, so what happens to other people? Yeah, it does. And, and I'm was, like, okay, great. Yeah, it was like light wash jeans. So you can actually see that it was like wet, like it was dark. So I, I'm like, fuck, what do I do? So, yeah. so I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? There's like the hand dryer. So I'm gonna sit with ben my ass on, yeah. on the hand dryer. When I tell you it like barely did anything, I went up there with my ass. But being like, I just, it was water. He's like, how did water get back there? And, and you're like, like, obviously I threw it back there. I literally, like, what the what, fuck? whatever. What do you mean? <laughs> I fell in the toilet. What do you want me to say? I pissed on myself. What do you want me to fuck say? Fuck off, I'm real. I'm a human being. It's part of my quirks, so. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you could incorporate food into sex, which food would you choose? Food, food, or can we do like candy? Not that my candy go by, I think it's candy's easier to incorporate. Sex. Like, I don't think I would do food. Maybe, maybe a Tao Beach burger, actually. <laughs> I don't know how. I would probably throw up the French fries. Oh yeah, get that salt all over me. I don't think I could eat. 
Yeah, I don't like to incorporate food into bed, to be Whipped honest. Whipped cream? Okay. Yeah, but that's... Exactly. That's that's as far that's as... as far. Or candy. Like, you can use um, little, like, small candies to, like, elevate sex. So, like, they have to be, like, safe for your private parts, but, like, I've tried doing that. A mint? No. Um, mints could be good, but it can burn his dick, too, if you're giving a blowjob. But, like, pop rocks when you're giving a blowjob mm -hmm. is an interesting experience. It's an interesting experience, um, for sure. Ice cubes are amazing to if you're into hot and cold. Right. So, mixing that. But food-wise, besides candy... Mm -mm. Like, not, like, actual food. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm interested. Like, food. I've never thought of that. Yeah. Like, other Chocolate, than, like, whipped cream and, like, that yeah. stuff. But, like, I don't categorize that as, like, food. food right? I don't categorize like that as Like a Samantha Jones moment with the sushi on her body. Ooh. You know? And yeah. she eats it off you. But then again, it's, like, rice and, like, wasabi all up in your fucking... Nothing. Yeah, wasabi, like, Fish be on your body when you're... No, it's not salmonella or some shit. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's cross-contamination. Yeah, cross-contamination. Like, let's, let's pass on this Let's one. pass on that. Okay. <laughs> What's one thing on your bucket list? Oh, to move the fuck out of here. What's up, 2022? It's going to be a big fucking year. I think that's been my, my biggest thing. Like, I really do want to make a huge move and start, like, my life somewhere and be more, like, spontaneous and adventurous and travel more. Like, those are my bucket list kind of things. Like, I mean, yeah, there's places that I want to see. I'm more, like, I'm more of a... And then you're like simple me. girl. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything crazy. About simple this. like pleasures, you know. Like, what's one thing you've wanted to say to me but haven't? There we go. That's a better question. Ooh. Well, I think I said this to you yesterday. I just had like a moment of like gratitude. I never said to you to your face. Well, I don't know if I have, but you know, <laughs> I didn't say it to your face. I look at me, bitch. It's nervous. Yeah, I just gets nervous really being vulnerable. Yeah, I just really. And I have a difficult time being soft. Just pee. So best of both worlds. Recently, we've come a long way, and I feel I've never felt more connected to you. I feel like yeah. emotionally and mentally, yeah. and I like yesterday we were, we just send voice messages to each other, and like that's kind of like I think a newer thing where we're kind of adamant on it, and it's it, I was just so thankful. Like you have no idea. It's more like day to day. It feels but not more even like, about like a like a actual like friendship. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. like hey, like this just happened to me, or like. Exactly, and it's not even I about, I, it's not even like, I obviously appreciate the advice and like you answering back to every stupid thing that I fucking vent about, but it's it's not about the advice, it's just the fact that like, I don't know, I just feel so Going back and forth, good. yeah. Like, yeah, like, like, well you're like grouped in, it's yeah. not like, like you know those friendships where like, and every, every friendship I think goes through this phase, and I think that it's like, you have to obviously put in work to like get out of like those ruts, but like, I used to hate like being like, I have you have a best friend and like you go like months or like weeks without talking like for me that's like that's so weird I'm like I hate these like Lulls, 13 yeah. hour fucking catch-up sessions like who has the time for that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just I'd so rather common. just like keep up on like a daily basis like maybe not every day like every day I really don't mind like I just feel like it, it's more it's more of a connect and then that way when you are when you do see them it's like oh we can have fun yeah do you know what I mean you don't need to catch up on everything now you know like oh my yeah, god powerpoint presentation I'm like no I'm already looped in on a daily basis yeah, you, you know, know what I mean on, yeah and like I feel like one thing I've done that like really helps and like spices things up and like I send Eden the guys that I find on him yeah yeah that are I feel fucking wild I'm on your journey I love it yeah it's yeah. hilarious so yeah. just spice it up if you can guys yeah so that's something that I just n don't I don't think I tell you or said to I don't face. think I, I say that either and but I'm sorry for that no it's that, just that's something I, I have to work on it's not something here's the thing I don't think we need to say it all the time no, but no, I no. do think that it's nice to say for of sure. Course. But I know that we feel this way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just nice. That we she doesn't need reassurance from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's real, bitch. Everything is going Woo! well. Everything is going well. Tell me about a time you got caught having sex. I, I don't know. know. I haven't got caught having sex. Um, like lying. I always lying, get, I, stealing. Um, no, stealing. No. Not that I've like stole anything other than like gummy bears when I was 14 from 7-Eleven. Like yeah. let it go. Big deal. <laughs> like everybody. It's let like, it go. It's like a rite of passage. It's, it's part of your childhood. They're out there for a reason. It's meant Do you know to what be I mean? You. Yeah. They're like With the guy like eyeballing you and your friend's like, shut up your top. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm actually having a hernia. Yeah. It's like there have been times time. where like I, you know, wasn't where I said I was going to be. And then I like get caught. Like you're at a boy's house and like you shouldn't be at a boy's house. And yeah. You kind of get caught, whether that's by your friend, your mom. Yeah, that, that, several times, so many times. Yeah. Every time I lied about where I was uh -huh. to someone, I got caught. 
I would either run into someone that I knew that knew someone that was always like, like that. Oh, yeah. we saw so and so. She was with so and so, and people were like, oh, like you were with so and so last night. You said you were with like Eden or something, and I was like, yeah, I was. And I'm like, mm, no, I don't think so. I'm like, oh, I don't. Know. They must they must have been must person. have been my clone. I have a must twin. Have been, I have oh a my twin. god, yeah. News to me. Mom, dad, I you, you have some person. explaining to do. We broke up six months ago. It was yeah. not with him. Yeah. Nope. Name something better than an orgasm. This is going to be difficult for you, but there are things. <laughs> there are things that are better than an orgasm. There are. An okay. orgasm is amazing. Um, but my dog. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Oh, I'm so, oh um, God. Like, she's really giving me life. A, like, you know when you have a craving fulfilled. So, like, when you're craving french fries and you get french fries right during that craving and you eat it. And it hits. Slaps. Slaps. Veggie burger. Or, so not veggie burger. Big Mac with no meat when you're drunk. Slaps. Slaps. Um, better than orgasm, honestly. And uh, I would probably say, like, itching a spot. Oh my god, that right? you can reach and you're like, oh, oh my god, yes. Better than orgasm. Oh my god. Um, what else is better than orgasm? Oh, having a um don't smoke kids, but having a smoke when you're pissed drunk, just like that one smoke when you step outside and it just can't relate, but I've heard I've heard um, that that will do it. I think that's those are my top ones. Those are her top ones. Good. You yeah. did a lot, man. Those fucking flew to you. Yeah, and we we all thought I wasn't going to be able to name something better than orgasm. But Never that underestimate. Was the that was the narrative I've been pulling. Oh my god, this is such a good question for you. Oh my god. What do you want to be famous for? Oh my god, my personality. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> no, you just lit you know, up. You know, yes, because you know what? We've been on we've been on the personality train. We've been on the, I actually updated my bio. Okay, he likes me for my personality. That's my new fucking really? personal brand. Yeah, that's my slogan. Oh, now. I love that. So I'm gonna do my best to like highlight that on IG. And yeah, like I just feel like I have an award winning personality. Honest to God, I really I really feel like yeah, I am. Facts. Facts. You know, it's it's the best when we're together. Oh. Can't face tune personality, bitches. Go to hangover remedy. Tell us. <laughs> oh, I have a hangover video of Eden <laughs> slamming McDonald's French fries at <laughs> 9 a.m. Bro, 9 a.m. <laughs> oh, I will never delete it. I will never delete it. I'm right there on her bed. She's like on the phone, 9 a.m. Crushing the cold French fries. I'm like, you know what? Gotta love her. This is. This is where she. This is where she excels. This is where I excel. So best hangover cure um, actually starts the night before. <laughs> okay. Um, chug as much water as you can right before you're about to pass out in bed. Like yeah. like just chug. Even I know you want to throw up and you hate it. Just chug. That saves me. And then next morning again, fluids, chunky, heavy breakfast, full of carbs oily, greasy, disgusting. Even if you want to vomit, just do it. A nice cup of fucking Tim Hortons coffee with a cocaine lime rim and you're good. Oh my God. I thought you were going to say with a cocaine lime. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the real thing. That's okay. the real cure. Okay, I was missing no. that part. But, but no, no drugs. Kids. Yeah, just no like drugs. drink a lot. Gatorade, I heard the blue one. The blue one, right? That's why I have one in my thing that's half open. The blue one I'm, traumatizes me. It brings back memories. I know. And my and friends like, have I all thrown can't. out blue because we've just been feeding each other that blue Gatorade. But the blue Gatorade, for sure. Okay. Yeah. If you were a soup, what type of soup would you be? <gasps> a butternut squash puree. Oh my god, you would. I would. Yeah, you're such a right? I'm such a butternut squash puree. It's I love yummy, these though. It's such a good it's soup. It's so yummy. It's filling. It's sweet. It's, it's filling. Yeah. I think it's seasonless. Hits. It's seasonless. It just really like me. Yeah, it's just seasoned like and seasonless. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions you want us to answer, maybe we can make a whole video out of your questions. Leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications. And we'll see you back here so soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.